So everybody wants to gain more babysitting clients. In this video, I'm going to teach you how, so stay tuned. Hey sitters, welcome back to another video. It is Lydia. Thanks for joining me. Today's going to be a good one. I can feel it uh, because I'm sharing a secret with you. I really want to give you guys the first step that I did to really propel me into um, my business. Right now I have 150, over 150 clients and I've got six girls working for me and it's just growing by the day. Um, and my secret to that is building an email list. And I know it sounds simple. It sounds crazy that that really propelled me into a full blown business, but it's the truth. And I want to help you guys get started as well. So stay to the very end. Make sure you get all the information because all of this is going to be important and per pertinent to you building your email list as well. I do want to say something before we completely dive into this. Business building is not easy. It takes a lot of time, effort, energy, passion. It is money. It is not simple. It's really difficult. There's highs and lows. And some days I want to throw the towel and I want to be done. Some days I'm on top of the world and I love what I do. I love what I do regardless, but I love that I'm building a business. I can't, can't wait to see this floor flourish. And I have so many things I want to do with this business. And sometimes I can't even focus on one task because I want to juggle all these other tasks. But the, there's certain things you can do to implement um, that can make these rough roads simpler or easier or smoother, depending on how you look at it. Um, so by building an email list, I made things a little simpler for me down the road. Um, I didn't know it at the time. I, it just happened to work out for me. Um, I have some supportive people. I got some smart people in my circle and they really pushed me to start an email list. I thought it was bogus. I don't know why I was doing it or why I needed to do it, but here I am today with a full blown business. So let's dive in. Um, let's actually go back in time and talk about uh, the first time I started babysitting. Again, I got into mother being a mother's helper. If you don't know my story, I started when I was 12, was a mother's helper for the people down the street. She then trusted me to stay on my own a couple hours. Then those couple hours turned into more hours. Um, then my name was bounced around to different neighbors. I ended up working for eight families that were in the neighborhood. By the time I was 15, 16, 17 maybe, I was in high school, somewhere in high school. I um, worked with my family and kind of talked to them about like, man, this thing's really growing. I'm starting to gain a lot of clients. I can't keep things straight. A lot of people are reaching out to me. I'm getting text messages all day, every day. Um, and they talked about doing an email list. Why don't you send out your availability, right? You know your availability, send it out to them so that they know it. And that way they don't have to bug you and ask you or blow up your phone every day to see what availability you have. So that's where it got started. Now let's talk about, okay, how do I get these emails from these people? How do I get some random emails or people to give me their emails? How do I market myself or, or um, collect those emails? I don't want you to think that you're going door to door to collect those emails or um, trying to recruit families. I don't want you to do that. I want you to, again, this is, I always say this, use your resources. Those families that you have already babysat for, the, the families that you work for now, use them. <laughs> don't use them, that, that sounds mean, but use them. They're there and they're supporting you. Um, if they truly see that you have a passion for this, they're going to support you. Which leads me into my babysitting binder. If you haven't um, already seen the video of me putting this together, talking about why it's important, what I use it for, go check that out. I'll put it in the description below. All of these forms I will put in the description below as well where you can find them. Um, but in here I have my new family information form. On that form, guess what? It collects emails. Um, so on that form, you can put a box that says, or a sentence that says, would you like to be added to my weekly emails that give or share my availability? Yes or no. And if they check yes, most, most of the parents would like that. They check yes. Um, and you can add them to the email list. 
Now, so when I started that, that's how I got started. Um, I would also see families at the park that I'd recognize and see there often. I see in my community and I would talk to them. I'm very good at starting a conversation that doesn't need to be started. So I'm very social and I can talk to anybody about anything. So um, I usually just start up a conversation or they start up a conversation while we're at the park. And then I mention, yeah, I babysit for a lot of families in the neighborhood. Um, I, at the time I just said, yeah, I send out an email with my availability. If you want to be added to it, I can take your uh, email and add you to that. Um, a lot of my clients would share that email. The forward button was my marketing tool. Forward, in the, in the bottom of the emails, I would always say, if you know of anybody who would like to receive these e emails, please send, them to, send this email to them, or you can send me their email and I will add them to the list. I kid you not, I probably gained 20 clients, 20 emails, just by that sentence alone. Share this with your friends, share this with your neighbors. Um, send me their emails if they would like to be added to this email list. And that's really how it started gaining traction. Um, so those three ways, telling them in the email list what I'm okay with and what I'm not okay with because some families do are worried about me saying, no, I really don't want my email shared. Um, I don't want my contact shared. Um, so if they know you're okay with it, they're going to mark it for you. Um, having that on your information form, if you're babysitting for a new family that um, may have gotten your contact from a family you babysit for, but they didn't know that you sent out their email, let them know and inform them. If they fill out that sheet and they see that on the form, they will want to be added to it. Um, the simpler it is for families to get a hold of you and to book you, they're going to do it. So now what do I put in the email now that the email is going out? So every Sunday I would put in that email my availability from Monday to Sunday. So every Sunday that email would go out. Every Sunday I was getting in front of the faces of my clients. Um, and we talked about that in previous videos. You want to stay in front of the faces of your clients to get in the faces of potential clients or new clients. Um, so what goes in that email? So my availability from Sunday or from Monday to Sunday. And then I would also put in that email things that are going on around my community that match up with my availability. I'm availability, I'm, av I'm availability. I'm available Saturday night. Guess what's going on Saturday night? There's a concert just 20 minutes from here. You know what? Here's the link to go get some tickets. There, everything is there for them. They can go buy tickets right on the website that you linked and they know that they can book you because you're available. So they respond to you. Lydia, I'd like to book you on Saturday night from this time to this time. We're gonna go to that concert that you suggested. Perfect. So now I'm giving ideas, I'm giving, because I've talked to my families um, and a lot of them say that the struggle with date night is that they don't know what to do. Sure, they could go to dinner, but they struggle with things that they want to do or, or things that they find enjoyable or fun. Because um, going to dinner every week is not, I mean, it's fun, but you can only do it so much. But if there's acts thrown or if there's a concert to go to or if there's karaoke night, um, letting them know about that stuff is going to help boost your bookings. It ended up working. A lot of people around me thought it was a great idea. My clients absolutely loved it. Um, if I missed a Sunday, which I would have felt terrible about, I used to feel terrible about missing a day, uh, they would text me to make sure, hey, I'm just, I'm just making sure I didn't miss the email. I want to make sure I saw it or it didn't go to my junk. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm so sorry. I, was, I just forgot to send it out or I, something came up and I couldn't send it out. Or, so my clients ate it up. They loved it. Um, and I still do it. I still, we're still sending out emails. It's a little, it looks a little different now that I own a full blown business, but that email still goes out. I did take a break. I did take a break when my grandmother was living with us and, um, that whole situation, but it's back on and the parents again are loving it. So that is my little piece of device. There's a lot more that I did. There's a lot more that I implemented to make this a full blown business. Um, and you're, if you're interested, I may have to share a little more secrets with you. Um, but that is the first step to building a true, true business. I think it really helped me in my business. I think it will help you 
if you're looking to create a business, if you're even just looking to um, build your clientele, uh, I think an email list is the perfect way to market yourself and that's the perfect way to go. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. Go check out the babysitting binder, putting it together, the video. Go check out the forms. You can go find those. Um, yeah, what a secret to spill. I'm nervous. Don't tell anybody that I told you, but alrighty. I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.